Just about 36 hours to go until voting gets underway in New Hampshire's municipal elections. In Manchester, both incumbent Mayor Ted Gatsis and challenger Joyce Craig are in a sprint to the finish line. The countdown is on in Manchester as candidates begin their final push to election day. Democratic challenger Joyce Craig spent the morning going from diner to diner to meet the Sunday breakfast crowd. It's one-on-one -on -one conversations, uh, you know, at the doors, on the phones, uh, at uh, events, in restaurants, um, everything matters. Craig says the city needs change and new leadership focused on education and the opioid crisis. The people want a voice in City Hall, someone who's listening to them, uh, their ideas and their concerns, and someone who's going to address them. Across town, Mayor Ted Gatsis blew the starting horn on a 5K. His own race, he says, comes down to pocketbook issues. No question that people are talking about taxes. That's what's most important to everybody's mind, and we need to do everything we can to make sure we protect the taxpayers. The mayor says while the city needs to keep up the fight against drugs, he also points out the Queen City is making progress overall against crime. Nobody's talking about it. A couple of years ago, we heard about crime just so happens that crime is down again from last year. Just 64 votes separated these candidates in 2015. While voters have favored Democrats in recent special elections in New Hampshire, political scientists like Dr. Dante Scala say Manchester is its own political universe. There are a lot of local idiosyncratic factors at work uh, that make, and it's going to be, you know, the turnout will be decent for a mayor's election. Both candidates will obviously be very busy over the next two days, but Joyce Craig is getting yet another high-profile visit tomorrow. Possible Democratic presidential candidate Jason Kander will be on hand to help launch canvassing efforts tomorrow morning.